Here's a quick video on how to set up the Easy Day 250. First of all, power it on. This is the power button. I'll press OK to continue. Language, English, metric or imperial, so I'll click metric, patch antenna, RAG 15 antenna, so the easy guide comes standard with the patch antenna, unless you purchase the upgraded AG 15 antenna. So in this case I'll click patch antenna, OK. Then do you want to see this wizard the next time you start the system? No. So we're now into the home screen. The first thing we'll do is check what satellites are turned on and off. So to do that, we go to the spanner icon on the right hand side and click OK. User mode easy. Click on GPS setup. So we click on WAS EGNOS. Now S pass positions change this to favor availability click ok this is just a warning message which comes up so we click ok to that satellite auto select and now click in satellite health and click ok so here we have our list of satellites so we want to ensure 135 is turned off Satellite 138 has to be on heat health. Satellite 123 has to be on heat health. So we're changing this. So highlight satellite 123, click OK. Scroll down to heat health, click OK. Satellite 136 has to be turned on. So again, highlight it, click OK. Press up to on. Click OK. 129 is turned off and 137 is turned off. So the only satellites which are or the only satellite which is turned on is EGNOS 136. And the only two satellites on heat held are WAS 138 and EGNOS 123. So then go to other satellites and make sure all of these satellites are turned off. So we then click back, which is this red button here, which is this button. So go back, go back again. Now scroll up to continue. We have our patch antenna. And now we go back to our main home screen. So when you're in the home screen, to set up your vehicle and your implement. Go up to the first button here and press OK. So we now have to enter our implement width. So it's set in metric in meters. So I can go up and down through the different dimensions there. So if I just say this is 18.29 meters, that's my implement width. Press OK. So an overlap or a skip. So for fertilizer spreading, you can set an, a six or an eight inch overlap or whatever suits. If you're using a patch antenna, I would be setting a six inch overlap, which is 100, or sorry, 15 centimeters. So 15 centimeter overlap. Now the forward back offset. So this is the distance from your antenna to your implement. So this is to where the fertilizer comes out of your fertilizer spreader or to where the spray comes out of your sprayer from the, dis the distance from there to your antenna. So if I just say it's 
1.2 meters behind. Left right offset. So fire more. If if you're setting up a mower, your mower would be offset to the right hand side of the tractor. If you're setting up your fertilizer spreader or your sprayer, the majority of the time there is no left right offset as they're directly behind the center of the tractor. So in this case, I'll leave it at zero. Now we have our different pattern types. So you have your straight AB. So we would basically set an A point and a B point in the field. We don't have any headland guidance lines with this option. We have our A plus, which is basically we set our A point and it'll give us our B point in the direction the tractor is facing. We have our identical curve. So again, we set our first curve and every curve is identical off that. Or we have our adaptive curve. So as you can see in the diagram there, we set our curved line and then we can have a, a separate curved line going around an object such as a tree. We have our pivot, our headland and our freeform. The most popular out of all these options would either be your straight AB or your headland. So if we click on the headland option, the headland option means basically we drive the headland of the field, we tell the system how many circuits or how many headlands we want to do, and we're also telling it whether we want to set an A and a B point or an A plus point. So in this case, I'll select AB. So it's now asking me how many headland circuits. So for fertilizer, this could be one circuit. For mowing, this could be six circuits. So this is the amount of runs you're going to do on the headland. So if I set six circuits here now. So we now set our A point. If I had this set up in the tractor, I could set my A point, I would set my B point, and it would give me my guidance lines off that. So currently I don't have full satellite signal up here. My satellite coverage is poor on the patch antenna here. So this is staying yellow. So I can't use the GPS until that goes green, indicating full satellite signal.